All right, so why do most pianists struggle with dynamics? And, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of this too. Well, take a look at this piano. You can't see the whole thing, but it's a Yamaha C7. It's quite bright, quite loud, and it's really easy to overplay and to play loud. So me being with this piano and practicing it every day, I've had to be really careful about my dynamics. So one way to do it is to think about where are you focusing the power in your hands, right? So take a look. Power's in the pinky. I'm going to put extra pressure when I play a note on the pinky. So any start of a left-hand pattern or a melody note, this is a great exercise to notice your dynamics right off the bat. So the second part to this is anything that I play in the middle, right, beyond the pinky, I'm going to play soft. So I'm only going to accent the notes that are in the pinkies. And this will create a nice start of some dynamics. And when you get good dynamics, you get depth, right? You want something not to be two-dimensional, but three-dimensional. So that's how we want our plane to sound. So hard on the edges, soft in the middle. Power in the pinky. Let's see if this method works. I'm going to play something with no dynamics, and then I'm going to switch to this method. Here we go. All right, no dynamics, not accenting the pinkies. Everything is even. I played everything at an even level of volume. That was extremely hard for me to do because I normally don't play like that. But let's take the concept here. Accenting the notes in the peaky. So you see there's a difference there. Now, one extra advanced tip is every time you hit the bass note starting on the left hand, that's giving it gas, right? Giving it more energy. Um, you don't have to hit it at the same velocity every time. So as you could see when I was playing, I was adding some variation. Sorry for the mistakes there. I was trying to play and look at the same time. So you notice that um, everything after that pinky there, it was all soft. So soft, loud, soft. It's a great exercise. So in the beginning, just play the left first note of the pinky there loud. And it doesn't have to be pretty. It's just an exercise for you to start implementing this in your plane. So that's one main factor there 
for playing with dynamics. So we got to take it to the right hand now. So how is the right hand doing it? Well, you know, with the pinky, if I had the melody here, You see what I was doing there? Every time a note landed on my pinky, I would just play it loud and everything else soft. So this is just the exercise to get you to play with more dynamics. I'm limiting it, limiting it just to the pinkies here because maybe that's all you could handle at this point. But as you get more advanced, you could start using other notes um, to play them with dynamics. And so further progressing on, maybe one would sound like this after some time with this exercise. I hope that helped. Power in the pinkies, right? Hard on the edges, soft in the middle. So that's the exercise for better dynamics. And let me know how it goes in the comments if you've noticed any improvement in your playing. All right. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next video.